This is a pen of growth hormone, in this case genotropin by Pfizer. In a lot of cases people get confused between milligrams, milliliters and also international units. So in this video I'll try to clear up all misunderstandings. So by the end of the video you will perfectly be able to use your genotropin pen. Let me start by showing you different types of packages because depending on where you buy the pen around the world you can have certain labels or different labels but the pen is always the same. Let me clarify this. It's going to be this type of genotropin pen which always contains 12 milligrams of growth hormone into 1 milliliter of liquid which will deliver 36 international units of growth hormone. Back to the packages, you're gonna see sometimes 12 milligrams slash 1 milliliters. In other cases, you're gonna see 12 milligrams slash 36 units. But eventually, it's all the same. This pen has already been reconstituted and completely used. That's why if I open it up, you're gonna see the two chambers. Here, there used to be the liquid, which is now over, and here you can see the leftover of the powder and there is no more liquid. In fact, if I attempt to switch the injection button, nothing happens. So let me do some math first. If I divide 36 by 12, which is international units in this pen, divided by the number of milligrams, this equals the number three, which means that for every milligram of growth hormone, in this case will be equal to three international units of growth hormone. One milliliter is obviously whatever liquid was inside of the pen and it's usually not exactly one milliliter but it doesn't really matter because what you should focus on is milligrams and eventually the number of international units that you deliver per day. Let's go to the dial now. As you can see now, here I have MG. Every time you switch the dial, you are changing the number of milligrams that you inject each time. If I set it at 0.6, because I tell you to do this in your specific plan of using growth hormone for a certain number of months or years, how many international units are you shooting? Well, it's pretty easy. Remember the magic number, which is three. You need to multiply 0.6 by three and you will have, in this case, 1.8. So if you set the dial at 0.6, you're gonna deliver each injection exactly 1.8 international units of growth hormone. Unfortunately, in the genotropin pen, there is no such an option of delivering exactly two international units, but it doesn't matter anyway. If you change the dial, you can go any direction you want. If you go between 0.6 and 0.9, obviously you setting it for 0.75. If you multiply by 3, you're gonna have the exact number of international units that you are injecting each time, which is 2.25. Another important question is, let's say that I set the dial at 0.6. How long can I use the pen for? This is also very easy and you can just do the math. The short answer is 20 days. You will have 20 injections before this is over. Why 20 injections? You need to divide 12 milligrams, which is whatever is contained in this pen, by 0.6 and you will have exactly 20. So if you set it at 0.6, this pen will last exactly 20 days. In reality, I always say 21 days. Why? Because after you can no longer twist the injection button, meaning that you can no longer administer an injection, there will be still some liquid here inside. And you have to use an insulin syringe to suck it up and to inject it for a very last time. Now, this is not gonna be a precise injection. In one of my previous videos about growth hormone, I show this as well. So it's important to do it so you have one more day because you don't want to waste any amount of growth hormone. I hope this cleared up the confusion and if you have any question concerning the use of growth hormone in the specific genotropin by Pfizer, you can always send me an email and I will be more than happy to respond.